A minute could mean life or death for some EMS calls. That's why Jones County is building a new facility to lower response times. On your sides, Olivia Wolfson went to the groundbreaking in Trenton today to find out more. This time next year, a new EMS facility will be right where I'm standing. It's going to be the area's second facility, which for many will be life changing. Jones County is celebrating the groundbreaking of the new site. This new EMS substation will be right off of Highway 58 North, right across the street from Calvary Church. A second site is proposed for Pollocksville. We have our volunteers who do a super job, and in the daytime it's really, it's really hard to get any help, and uh, this will help take some of that load off. Response times to the outer edges of the county can take 15 to 20 minutes. Now with this new station, they're able to cut down response times to 5 to 8 minutes. For Emergency Service Director Ryan Mills, that time is crucial. It means a lot. It's uh, hands to people that need it the most at the most critical time they need it. Uh, quicker response, quicker health care, providing emergency medical care to the citizens. The project is being funded with help from the Department of Agriculture and from recent legislation. Mills says the new site also has a special meaning for her and her staff. It's a big thing. Mr. Pike, that was our late Emergency Services Director, it was his vision and now we're seeing it happen, so it's a great day. The groundbreaking for the Pollocksville location will be in August, with just as much excitement as this one. I mean, this is just a huge win for them, and it shows how much we appreciate them and, and how we want them to be able to take their job and do it to the best of their abilities. No additional staffing is going to be needed for this building. They say once it's open, they'll be ready to go. In Trenton, I'm Olivia Wolfson, 9 on your side.